Lately, the weather has significantly worsened, and I've been spending more time at home. These days, filled with grey skies and rain, have pushed me to stay within the comfort of my home walls and seek activities. They are not only interesting but also beneficial. Therefore, I decided to dedicate more time to working on the computer, turning these moments into a an opportunity for personal and professional goals. I want to share with you my passion for learning programming. One of my favorite activities is taking various programming courses. I enjoy diving into new topics, mastering different programming languages and technologies. Each course for me is not just a set of lessons, but a journey where I discover new horizons of knowledge and skills. Also, a great pleasure for me is taking exams and earning programming certificates. It's not just proof of my knowledge, but also a challenge to myself, an opportunity to test and confirm my skills in practice. Each certificate I earn is a step forward in my professional development and another pride in my collection of achievements. Programming for me is not just a job or a hobby. It's a passion and constant drive for development. I eagerly look forward to each new course and every new challenge on the path to master in this amazing and ever-evolving world of programming. I want to share exciting news with you. I recently started a programming course on Coursera named Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certification. This course promises to be not only informative but also very practical. The course program covers a wide range of key topics and skills necessary for the modern developer. From HTML and CSS to JavaScript and React, each module of the course offers me new knowledge and opportunities for practice. From the very beginning, I am immersed in current technologies and best practices that are in demand in the industry. Stay tuned for my updates to learn more about my success and experience on this path. I will be discussing how good this course is for beginner programmers and whether it will be useful for experienced programmers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video where I will share even more interesting information and personal experience. See you in the next video. Bye.